Five, four, three, two, one. Live to disc from the Pittsburgh Roadhouse in Pittsburgh, North Carolina, the Music Loft presents the Tokyo Rosenthal Program. In a little cafe on the other side of the border, she was sitting there giving me a look that made my mouth water. And I saw her coming my way. She belonged to that man, Jose. And I knew, yes, I knew I should leave. But I heard her say, hey, hey, come a little bit closer, you're my kind of man. So big and so strong, come a little bit closer. I'm all alone, and the night is so long. Well, we started to dancing in my arms. She looked so inviting. And I couldn't resist just one little kiss so exciting. Then I heard the guitar player say, Bam, Moose Jose's on his way. And I knew, yes, I knew I should leave. But I heard her say, hey, hey, come a little bit closer, you might man so big and so strong come a little bit closer i'm all alone and the night is so long santa colina de rana si no te sana so de sanas mañana por la mañana no te metas conmigo Santa Colito Y cuando tu vas a fumar When we finished the dance I looked the cafe was empty And I heard Jose say You know man you're in trouble plenty So I dropped the drink from my hand And through the window I ran And as I ran away I could hear her say to Jose Come a little bit closer, you're my kind of man So big and so strong, come a little bit closer I'm all alone and the night is so long All right, thank you very much. And another cordial welcome to the Tokyo Rosenthal program. I'm your host, Tokyo Rosenthal, for the first show of season number two. They said we'd never get to season number two, but here we are, syndicated all over the world, and uh, real happy to be here, and especially happy to be here tonight because I've got some tremendous guests in store for you tonight. Pea Picking Hearts are in the house. all the way from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. So uh, stay tuned because uh, they've got some tremendous music for you and uh, we're really looking forward to that. By the way, another reminder for you folks because I've been seeing we've been getting hits over there. Uh, we have a Tokyo Rosenthal Facebook page now. So come on back over there and see what uh, goes on behind the scenes. We've got a lot of extra things that you don't get to see, including, of course, as we've mentioned this before, you can see what Gio DeSocio looks like, what Jeff Phillips really looks like, and, uh, and maybe we'll even have a picture of Dancing Tony coming up soon. So uh, make sure to go to our Facebook page over there and uh, check it out. Also, um, if you like what you hear in some of my music, come on out and see me. I'm going to be at the Chatham County Fair on September 20th. And I'm going to be at the Centerfest Festival in Durham on Sunday, September 21st. I'm going to be accompanied on both of those gigs by uh, the great Jick Winslow. Uh, you guys know him from Milagro Saints, and he's been kind enough to uh, sit in and back me up on those shows. Um, very appropriate. Uh, when we started season number one, we opened up with an audience survey, and uh, we're going to ask the same question again to see if anything changed. Uh, 
about nine months ago, we asked the audience if everybody had gotten the memo that the recession was over. There was about 2,000 people sitting out here in the crowd that night, and nobody raised their hand. And the reason they didn't raise their hand was because the recession wasn't over. So I'm going to ask the same question again. We have a little under 2,000 this time, and uh, we're going to see just uh, how many people out there got the memo that the recession is over now? Anybody? I know I didn't get it. I keep thinking I'm left off the list that the recession uh, ended and nobody told me. But uh, that being said, uh, there's been no uh, shortage of hard luck stories for the, uh, the economic distress that's been all over the world. And there was one story that hit me in particular. Uh, read about it in the newspaper. There was this guy in Michigan, and he lost his... Uh, job on the assembly line that he'd had forever. He went back home to his house to find out that he lost his house too because it was underwater because of the mortgage crisis. He went looking for a job and realized that all the local jobs had been uh, outsourced to India and to the Philippines. Finally, he said, well, I'm going to drive to some other neighborhood, and he realized he couldn't afford to put any gas in the car because the gas prices were all up, so he shot himself. But he lived. He lived to tell the story. I read the story, being ever opportunistic as I am. I went ahead and uh, wrote a song about it and also did a video that went mini-viral. Um, and it's also somehow embedded in my last album, Tokyo's Fifth. For those of you who have copies of it, just stick Tokyo's Fifth in your computer. And you will see the video produced by the great Nick Beery. But enough talk about the song. It's called What Did I Used To Be? One, two, three, four. The button I pushed like 10,000 times The paper I wrote the music I sold my spot on the line reality show I walk through the fog to suck on our bones fess on our loans where is my job there's no more room what did I used to be is this still my home? What did I used to be? Look back to the day To when we were kings The oil was cheap Our savings were deep Had the ball in the play They shut down your store And charge for your bags You move to the right Come back to the left Nine and nine and a half There's no more room for what did I used to be Is this still my home? What did I used to be? Reinvent though you have no clue how to change your jacket and make the old new trade it in for a one that's much smaller how's it feel for a dude The button I pushed is no longer mine. They answer the phone in Delhi time zone, Manila and kind. I maxed out my cards, and can't find a friend. I stare at my gun, asking myself, could this be the end? There's no more room. What did I used to be? Is this still my home? What did I used to be? 
I made my bones what did I used to be There's no more room what did I used to be What did I used to be What did I used to be What did I used to be? Thank you very much. Stick around. Pete Picking Hearts coming right up. All right, back here at the Pittsburgh Roadhouse in Pittsburgh, North Carolina, on the Tokyo Rosenthal Program. Show number one of season number two. Wow, pretty good. And of course, very proud to announce that our sponsor, the Music Loft, is with us again for this season. I'd like to tell you a little bit about them. They're the best music store in the Triangle area, bar none. Amazing collection of new, used, vintage guitars, mandolins, banjos, keyboards, and drums. And a great selection of gear to keep your instruments running well. Need a lesson? Everybody needs a lesson. Check in with them because the finest pickers are teachers there. Finally, mention the Tokyo Rosenthal program, and they'll give you a free gift. Just walk on the store, say Tokyo Rosenthal sent me, they will get a free gift, guaranteed. Once again, they're located at 116 West Main Street in Carborough. Google the Music Loft Carborough for more information. Those of you listening outside of the area, outside of the country, get in your car, take a plane, start a caravan, but get to the Music Loft. Also, a lot of you may not realize this, but if you go to the uh, our Facebook page, you'll see it. Uh, we have videos of every show we've ever done, and why do we have them, and then why are they on YouTube? Well, it's thanks to Jeff Phillips from InFocus Studios. InFocus Studios specializes in promotional videos for company websites, video depositions, college recruiting videos for high school athletes, almost anything you need in the video market, go there. Go to www.infocusstudios.com or call Jeff at 919 919- 533-9650. That's 24-7. You can call him any hour. He's always up. He doesn't sleep. And tell him Tokyo sent you, and he'll take good care of you. At InFocus Studios, they always ask if a picture's worth a thousand words, how much is a moving picture worth? All right. Well, now, I, the next guests here are people that I met kind of, we actually, I think we met on Facebook eventually, but we play a lot of the same clubs and a lot of the same nooks and crannies around the country, and I'd heard a lot about them, and everybody said, oh, you've got to meet these people, you've got to have them on your show. So here we are, show number one, season number two. Let me bring them on for you, the Pea Picking Hearts. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for having us. This is a new one for us. As I get older, I find that I am more and more attracted to things that are sparkly. I don't know why that happens. John says it's a good thing you cannot overdose from glitter. I'd be in trouble. So we decided we'd write a little song about the magpie. And they often find things like tin foil and other sparkly stuff in their nests. This is Magpie Mary. Magpie, magpie, leave tonight. Magpie Mary, take in light. Searching for a glimmer of light 
Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You know, you don't often see one of us without the other one. We're a little attached at the hip. We average about eight hours a week apart from each other. That is true. You really had to like somebody to spend that much time with them. And some of our friends joke that uh, when you hear a story, you don't know where it originated, which one of us told it first, and we can't remember either. So when we were writing our bird-themed album, we decided we'd stick the mockingbird in there too. It seemed appropriate. <laughs> advertised maybe better that was great guys we're glad uh, not to disappoint <laughs> thanks for being yeah. here and uh, let's see uh, braving the elements too Kid quite a rainstorm i understand coming up here it was ugly on the way up here well. I, I, I was i was trying to sleep that's my way of getting out of road trips and every once in a while i jolt to go oh what was that and he's like nothing still the rain <laughs> all right well let, let's you know pee picking hearts that's your pseudonym let, let's introduce you it's rachel gibson and john ives the third cousin, six times removed from Burl Ives. So we're, That's we're, right. <laughs> we'll, start, we'll start that rumor going here. But uh, the whole world is anxious to know. Everybody's waiting right now as they're listening to this with bated breath is where did the name, you probably get this as often as I get, the, well, how did you get the name Tokyo? Well, how did you get the name P. Pickin' Hearts? Well, the reason we chose it, obviously, it's from Tennessee Ernie Ford's Bless Your P. Pick. Well, you say obviously. That's from our generation. Right. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> under 70, you know. The reason we picked it, though, is because it's kind of a, a beautiful example of the art of the euphemism. It's popular in the, here in the South where you say one thing and you mean something else. And you know, most of them are not particularly nice. The one I grew up hearing was, she has such a pretty face. You know what that actually means. It's a shame her rear end is so big. That's what it actually means. <laughs> Pee picking hearts is a nicer one. It means simple and country, and it's typically what we are. So, I heard rumor. Were you guys? Are you related to Ernie Ford? <laughs> no, but we have lots of odd junctions in our lives. He uh, came to my mother's high school and picked the beauties, and my mother happened to be the sophomore beauty that year. We um, did productions where John actually played Tennessee Ernie Ford. It, it's just one thing after another is sort of coincided, and we've always been a fan of the saying. So. Somewhat incestuous. Uh, That's right, or, just a little. Uh, just a little bit. Okay. Those, those were two cool songs. So you guys do a lot of original material. We do. Um, ha, who's, who's writing? How does it work? 
It's actually both of us. Yeah. It's an odd situation. We, uh, I, I write most of the lyrics. Um, I don't actually play an instrument publicly. My dad, when I wanted to play a guitar when I was little, decided it was not a ladylike instrument. And he said I could learn to play the piano, and I taught him. I didn't learn to play anything. So there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you got even. Yeah. I know, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, 30 <laughs> years later, that might not have been the best decision. But so, so you write most of the lyrics, I Rachel? do, and usually they come without a melody, but every once in a while they come with a melody that he gets stuck with. But most of the time, he, he comes back to me later with something, and I'm like, really? I did, that's not what I had in mind, but that's cool. So it, well, I was going to say, yeah, so, John, you get the lyrics, and you, know, and then you get a little trepidation when you've got to bring them back to Rachel and see if this is the way she thought the song would go. A, a little bit, you know, usually it's not at all the way she thought it would go. <laughs> so I have to accept that fact. But. I try not to come with melodies. The one time I came with a melody, I thought he wasn't going to talk to me for two weeks because apparently everything was a jazz chord and he was not happy. <laughs> all right. Well, John, you were originally a drummer, correct? Yeah, that's correct. And, and, and Rachel, you were kind of like a, a promoter. I was. I was an indie rock band promoter of all things. And so, he so was a drummer for one of the bands. And, and so that's how you met? Mm-hmm. How did you yep. discover, though, that you can play music together? That was kind of organically happened. We, uh, we have a child who's now not like small, but we sang together always. And, um, and it just kind of grew from there. And there's been lots of incarnations of what we do in a lot of different genres. In this particular way, it stuck, and it's been that way for a number of years now. All right. And you've got uh, one or two CDs out right now? We have four CDs. Four CDs. <laughs> we might be the only touring band out there that has not only originals, but gospel and Christmas. Yes, we have a Christmas oh, album Oh, you have specials. Well. Oh, That's okay. Right. Well, okay. So how do people get Pea Pick and Heart CDs if they're listening here and they want to get them? And I'm sure they do. So uh, You can go to peapickandhearts.com. And, of course, this is the South, so there's no G on picking. Uh, but you can find us at peapickandhearts.com and click on Listen to the Peas, and you can find anything you want there from us. Okay, well, that's great. I'm sure everybody's going to want a copy. Go to peapickinghearts.com and get a copy of the new CD. What I'd like is we're going to go sell a few things, and then we'd like to come back. You play a, f a few more songs? We'd love that. All right, everybody stay with us. We'll be right back with more from Pea Pickin' Hearts on the Tokyo Rosenthal Program. <laughs> All right, back again at the Pittsburgh Roadhouse on the Tokyo Rosenthal Program, and a few more tunes here from the great Pea Pickin' Hearts. Thank you. This song was a fun one for John and I to write. Sometimes they take a long time to come together. We've had songs that we've worked on for a couple of years before they came together. This one took about 15 minutes beginning to end. It worked out for us. And it's uh, about those couples that are in it through thick and thin to the very end and often die one after the other. That's right, folks. We wrote a song about the uplifting <laughs> idea of dying right after your spouse. We couldn't help it. And uh, we finally have making it all the way through this one without crying. This one's called Swallow and Swing. On the spread wings of a swallow, both trip and travel and sorrow. Over land and sea, the swallow will be bringing you home to me. On the spread wings of a swallow, both trip and
not all the songs are sad, I promise. We, um, we play a lot of unusual locations. We play some places where we like to think we're not background music, but sometimes we are. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite one is the sports bar where there's a giant television screen right behind the stage. That's my favorite one. So we decided that it would make it easier for us to get through if we wrote a song about the people who weren't listening to us. So we wrote it for every musician out there that's played to a crowd that's not listening. And we got away with it for the longest time. And not too long, probably two months ago, we were in a sports bar and somebody was watching a game and turned around right in the middle and looked over their shoulder and said, are you singing about us? <laughs> it was my favorite. So anyway, this one is called Crickets. No cover charge to get in this bar. It's late as night. We're sitting here singing true love, dear. Why you need a lie? Never gonna be a star. Oh, get very far. Not a soul inside. Crickets are a chirping. Why my song is lurching? Scream and stop while the bartender pops another beer. Crickets are a chirping while my eyes are searching for a single sign of any kind. Is anybody here? The game is on TV, peanuts are free. That explains it all. Can't expect her to clap with a girl in your lap. She's quite a doll. Put down your beer. Lend me an ear. Not quite last call. Crickets are a chirping. While my song is lurching. To a scream and stop while the bartender pops. Crickets are a chirping While my eyes are searching For a single sun of any kind Is anybody here? The game's in overtime Playing on our dime What is the score? And even I'm getting bored No one's looking toward The stage anymore we could play anything, it doesn't matter what I say. Head for the door. It's only set one, are we having fun? Why play set two, what else can we do? Shall we play the third? Maybe just free bird. Head for the door. Crickets are a chirping while my eyes are searching for a single sign of any kind. Is anybody Thanks, guys. So we wrote another one out there for, uh, it, I don't know how many of you out there have this couple as friends. We have them, the ones that fight all the time. 
in public, in private, it doesn't matter. And it's not the ones that like, you're worried you're going to have to call the police. It's the ones that seem to thrive on it. It's like the way they are all the time. We have a couple of friends that are couples like that. So uh, out of that came grouse and grackle. So if you're keeping track, we've covered the magpie, the mockingbird. What else have we gotten in there? Now we've got the grouse and the grackle all in one song. No pressure, John. We'll just wait for you while we all stare at you. It is radio. It's okay. Peach Pickin' Hearts. Beautiful song, beautiful. Uh, you know, um, tradition dictates, and this week will, and this season will be no different, uh, that you play a duet with me, which I look forward to doing. That'll you be know. fun. It, will, it should be, yeah. <laughs> you know, I know that uh, we've passed some notes back and forth uh, this past week, and uh, I know we pick one out, and uh, I think I sort of know it, and maybe you sort of know it. So we're going to take a quick break. Come back. I'll get my guitar strapped in again here, and uh, 
we'll see what we can do, all right? All right. Pete Pickin' Hearts, everybody. <laughs> Thanks again back here on the Tokyo Rosenthal program. I want to let you know all guests on the Tokyo Rosenthal program receive a gift certificate to the Music Loft in Carborough, North Carolina. That's worth the trip here alone, isn't it, guys? <laughs> right, yeah. Can't say enough good things about the folks there who make you feel at home the second you walk in the door, no matter how young or old. Whether you're an expert or a beginner, high budget or start a budget, this is the store for you. And again, visit the store and mention the Tokyo Rosenthal program, and you get a free gift. So come on in there. Uh, it's at 116 West Main Street, the music loft of Carborough. All right, duet time here on the Tokyo Rosenthal program. An old Roger Miller song, a man who was taken from us a little too early, too. Poor Roger Absolutely. passed away rather young, but not before leaving us some great music. And the uh, name of this tune is... King of the Road. King of the Road. All right, start us off there, will you please, John? Trailers for sale or rent Rooms to let 50 cents no phone, no pool, no pet. Can't got no cigarette because two hours of pushing brew buys up eight for twelve for the room. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road. Tell him, Rachel. I want to thank everybody for coming out here tonight and for those of you listening at home thanks so much for tuning in next week virginia's own reagan boggs gonna be on the show so come on out also to the chatham county fair and the center fest in durham on september 20th and 21st respectfully we want to thank the roadhouse greg and Anora, geo DeSocio, jeff phillips the music loft anthony wellman our affiliates dancing tony good night carrie i'm coming home Take us out, folks. Train